Hello, welcome back. Today I am going to be reviewing a book. Um, today's book is The Bane Chronicles by Sandra Clare, Sarah Reese Brennan, and Maureen Johnson. All right. Inside the little jacket we have a little no, summary of what's in this whole book. It says, it's not easy being Magnus Bane. As a warlock, he's often called upon to fix the problems of others. His life has been long and his loves have been many. And Magnus has a way of making sure he's at the right place at the right, or perhaps wrong, time. The French Revolution, Prohibition, the Great Blackout of New York City, the first great battle between Valentine and the New York Institute. Magnus was there, and usually in the middle of it. But smuggling Marie Antoinette out of France is nothing compared to loving a vampire like Camille Belcourt, or having a first date with Alec Lightward. Through Magnus's tale, though Magnus's tale is far from over, these stories shed a little light on his often inscrutable character. What happens when an immortal warlock goes mad? Are all Herondels as problematic as well? Answer, yes. What exactly happened at the Hotel du Mort? How did Raphael Santiago become a vampire? What do you buy for your Shadowhunter boyfriend when you're not really dating? And why was Magnus banned from Peru? Magnus will never be able to tell all of his tales. No one would believe him. But here are 11 stories that fill in some of the, the, some of the blanks. Stories he probably wishes had never gotten out. Um, so, you know, I had a theory before going into this book that this was like the stories that um, he wrote down for Alec that he gives him at the end of Heavenly Fire. But it turns out they're not, which I was okay with, you know, you know, Magnus's life. But I do want to know what he wrote Alec, because let's face it, we want to know everything about Magnus. We'll believe everything. Everything. Or at least I will. Excellent. So, titles of all the stories that are, you know, compiled into this one book are What Really Happened in Peru, The Runaway Queen, Vampire Scones and Edmund Herondale, The Midnight Air, The Rise of Hotel du Mort, Saving Raphael Santiago, The Fall of Hotel du Mort, What to Buy the Shadow Under is Everything and Who You're Not Officially Dating Anyway, The Last Stand of the New York Institute, The Course of True Love and First Dates, and lastly, The Voicemail of Magnus Bain. Um, all the stories basically take place in the same order until you get to the fall of the New York Institute and then it's kind of like a going backwards and then you're coming back. But either way, I didn't care. It was full of Magnus Bane and I love Magnus Bane. He's awesome. And Harry Shum Jr. playing Magnus Bane is awesome. So yeah. There are two stories in particular that are full of Malik and that is what to get um, a shadow hunter went to get the shadow hunter has everything who you're not officially dating anyway and um you know the trial of true love and first dates um and i was really happy with those because i love malik you know it's it's one of those ships that you watch and it just fills you with joy because not a lot of stories have ships like that and you know it really brings brings comfort to people who in their life would have a ship like that. So that was my review of the Bane Chronicles. If you think I missed any points within it or you uh, just want to talk about the Bane Chronicles, you know, you know, enter it in the comments below. If you've never read the Bane Chronicles, you know, pick it up if you want to. Uh, so bye. See you next time. I'm gonna go off to pet therapy because I need it because math is just too stressful for me.